Well, hello, boys and girls. It's really great to be in your classrooms this week. Before I begin this week's lesson, I just wanted to take a little time out to say thank you so much for all the beautiful cards and pictures and booklets and flowers and all the wonderful things that you gave me last week for Counselor's Week. It really meant so much to me and I read every card and every letter and looked at every beautiful picture that you colored and it just warms my heart. So thank you again boys and girls and teachers and everyone who participated last week. So um, with that I'd like to uh, introduce this week's lesson and this week I'd like to talk about friendship. Now I know that in the past we talked a little bit about what it takes to be a good friend and how to make friends, but this week I'd like to talk to you about what it takes to keep a friend, the things that you need to do in order to keep your friends. So we're going to watch a little video with our friend Franklin the Turtle and it's called Franklin is Bossy. Now, I'm sure at the beginning of the video, Franklin might not make the best choices, but by the end of the video, I think Franklin kind of turns around and makes some good choices. So let's see what Franklin and his friends are up to today. <laughs> Coming over to play Growing a little Every day Here he comes with all his friends They've got stories, got time to spend With you Come in your house. Hey, it's Franklin. Come into my house. Hey, it's Franklin. Franklin is bossy. Franklin could slide down a riverbank all by himself. He could count forwards and backwards. He also had lots of friends. But one hot day, something awful happened. Franklin says, spin round and round and round and round. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> Goose. Okay. Franklin says, lift your left arm. <laughs> You're tickling me, Goose. <laughs> Not your right arm, Bear. Raise your left one. <laughs> hey, I didn't... I, I mean... Too late, Bear. You're out. Yeah, you didn't do what Franklin says. Uh, <laughs> it's too hot to play anyway. Now, let me see. Hop! Yeah, that's what I do. Best. Rabbit, I never said Franklin says. So, you're out. Franklin says, cross your eyes. Franklin says, touch your nose. Franklin says, touch your shell. You're all out. Except me, I win. Hey, no fair, Franklin. We don't have shells. Sorry, Beaver. My game, my rules. Anyway, I'm tired of this game. Let's play something else. I know. Skipping. Hunting acorn. Bike ride. It's too hot. Why don't we just go swimming? Yeah. Wait. I got an even better idea. Let's have a race! Aw, it's too hot. No, listen, it'll be great. We can run along the path, through the buttercup meadow, 
along the river bank, up one side, and down the other. Nah. Three times around the white spruce, and right back here. Goose, you can scratch the finish line across here. And Snail, you can mark it with those sticks. Hey, how come I have to Okay, do... everyone in their position. On your mark. Remember, not till I say... Go! <laughs> hey! I still think it's too hot. Racing was a great idea. See ya! Bye, Franklin. Bye, Franklin. It's way too hot. Come on, Franklin. You gotta lift those legs higher. Coming through. Coming through. See ya. See you at the finish line, Franklin. Yay, Beaver! <sighs> no winner and champion, Franklin! Hey, Rabbit finished first. Sorry, in this race, the last one wins. But then I could have raced. And won. No fair, Franklin. It was my game. We'll remember that next time. Ah, oh, forget it. Let's just go for that swim now and cool off. Okay, let's go. Fine with me. It's not that hot. I know, let's play baseball. Well? Oh, no. I almost forgot. I have two watermelon geraniums. I've, um, got my school project to finish. Which reminds me, I've got to, uh, go, uh, and, uh, um, I just gotta go. And I have to help her. Piano practice. Oh, well, guess it's just you and me now, Bear. Sorry, Franklin, uh, nature calls. Well, then, guess I'll... Go home. Oop, it's hotter than I thought. Hey, maybe I will go for a swim. <laughs> Yay! That's funny. How come they're all here? I thought everyone had stuff to do. And if they were coming here, why didn't they invite me? <laughs> they didn't want me to come. <laughs> Another game, Mr. Mole? Well, whoops. Looks like we're playing 52 pickup. Ah, uh, Franklin, you're just in time. Want to help us play? Sure, Dad. Oh, thank you, young Franklin. I'd best be getting home anyway. Stay for lunch, Mr. Mole? Love to, but things to do, you know. Going swimming, Mr. Mole? Me? Swimming? <laughs> Why, goodness, no, not me. Bye for now, and thanks again for the great game of cards. Anytime. See you soon. Swimming. <laughs> What's this about swimming? Oh, nothing. Dad, Mr. Mole doesn't play cards very well, does he? Well, no, but he certainly enjoys playing them. Still, I thought you hated playing cards. I don't hate it. It's just I'd much rather play chess. That's my game. Oh. What do you say we have a nice lunch waiting when your mother gets home? A surprise? Great! play baseball now? Sure, Franklin. That'll be fun. Yeah, okay. Great! Okay, then. Fox, you're on first base. Snail's on second. Goose, third. Aww. Here we go again. 
Sure would be nice to pick my own base for once. Yeah. How come you always choose everything, Franklin? I don't know. I just do. Okay. Everyone else plays outfield. I'll pitch. You always pitch. That's it. Do this, do that. You're just too bossy, Franklin. Yeah, you're way too bossy. Beaver's kind of right, you know. It would be neat to choose stuff just once. You don't think I'm too bossy, do you, Bear? Uh, I'm afraid you are, Franklin. Playing with you just isn't fun anymore. Fine. See if I care. Oh, uh, Franklin, come back. Too bossy, huh? That's what they think. You don't think I'm too bossy, do you, Sam? I'll take that as a no. Ta-da! Sir Franklin, the fearless knight. All right, troops, fall in. You to the battlements. You two to the drawbridge. You to the tower. I said to the tower. I'm the general. I give the orders. I... I am too bossy. Aren't I, Sam? Dad? Yes, Franklin? You know when you played cards with Mr. Mole? Mm-hmm. Since you don't like cards, why didn't you tell him you wanted to play chess? Sometimes we play cards, sometimes it's chess. It's not right for me to pick the game I want to play all the time. If you did, you'd be pretty bossy, right? Right. Care for a quick game before bed? Sure, Dad. Uh, hi, guys. What you doing? Nothing. I just wanted to apologize because sometimes I'm too bossy. Sometimes? Well, I'm sorry, and I'll try not to be bossy anymore. Uh, that's okay, Franklin. We're really glad you're back to play. Right, Beaver? Maybe. Bossy or not, it's more fun when you're around. Yeah, let's play! Baseball? Okay with me. Sure. Great! I'll pitch! After everyone else has a turn. Me first! Second! Guess I'll play outfield. Come on, I'll play out there with you. Thanks, Bear. You know, if I start getting bossy again, don't worry, Franklin, I'll let you know. Play ball! <laughs> Okay, boys and girls, so Franklin learned a lesson about what it takes to keep a friend, right? He was able to understand that the reason his friends didn't want to play with him is because, well, he was being kind of bossy. And I know sometimes we might be kind of bossy too. So it's really important, boys and girls, to acknowledge that, to think about it, to know that sometimes we can be bossy and if we are being bossy it's important to change that behavior so that we can continue having really great friendships so i hope you learned um, the importance of sharing sharing responsibilities and sharing uh, letting people make uh, decisions for themselves so that about wraps up my time for today, boys and girls. Thank you so much for your attention. And before I leave, remember, put your arms out like that. Wrap them around you real tight. Give yourselves a big hug from Dr. D. Bye, boys and girls.